Lesson 2 The Main Menu Hello fellow game designers, welcome to the Wicked Cat Unity Introduction course. Today we are going to cover the last two options of the Unity menu bar. First we are going to explore the window menu, and then, we will move to the help menu. Step 9 The window menu Let's start with the tab selection area of the menu. Here you will find several tabs that you can open on the editor. Some of the tabs are already opened in the default layout of the editor. However, if you close one of the tabs, you can use this menu to open it again. For example, if you close the scene tab, you can open it again using the scene option on the window menu. You can also do this for the game tab, for the inspector, for the hierarchy and for the project tab. Under these options, you will find several other tabs that are not opened in the default Unity layout. The Animation tab opens a new tab that allows you to create animations inside Unity 3D. This means that you can animate game objects, for example, for a cinematic in your game. The next option, the Profiler, will open a tab that will show you the statistics for your game. This tool is extremely helpful in order to help to optimize your games. It reports how much time is spent in the various areas of your game, like the percentage of time spent rendering, or animating. The next option, Asset Store, will open Unity 3D Asset Store inside your editor. Unity Asset Store is full of great assets that you can use for your games, 3D models, textures, scripts. You can find almost anything there. Unity allows the use of a version control system to make it easier to multiple users to manage their code. Note that this feature is only available with a team license. The next option will open the Animator tab. Here you can configure the animations for your game objects, for example, playing a specific animation when a variable has a specific value. Next, you have the Sprite Packer. This tool allows you to pack graphics from several sprite textures tightly together within a single texture known as an atlas. By default, the Sprite Packer is disabled, but you can configure it from the editor settings. The following option, Light Mapping, will open a tab for Beast, a fully integrated light mapper. Beast will bake light maps for your scene based on how your scene is set up within Unity, taking into account meshes, materials, textures and lights. The next option will open the Occlusio Culling tab. Occlusio Culling is a feature that disables rendering of objects when they cannot be seen by the camera. Finally, we have the Navigation option. This will open the Navigation tab. On this tab you can create navigation meshes to be used on a pathfinding system for your game. The last option is Console. This will open a console tab in your editor. This tool can be extremely helpful when debugging. Unity also allows you to change layouts. You can either do this on the window menu or on the top right corner of the screen. Until now we have been working with the default layout, however, the best practice is to adapt the layout of the editor to the type of project you are working on. This way you can improve your productivity. On the top right corner of the screen you can see a box with the word layout on it. Click there in order to choose from the several layouts that Unity has to offer. For now, we are going to choose the tall layout and use it to build our own custom layout. After choosing the tall layout the editor will adapt. Next we want to add the console to our layout. 
we grab the console window with the mouse and drag it under the scene and game tabs. The console should dock itself to the current layout. Now that we have everything in place, let's save our layout. This way we can use it in other projects, or easily return to it in case we need to change the layout during the development of our game. To save the current layout, we go to the layout options on the top of the screen like we did last time, but now we choose the option save layout. The editor will then ask us to name our layout. Let's call it 2D layout. And now we hit the save button. If you press the layout menu again you can see that our new layout appears in the options. Step 10. The help menu. The help menu is the last option on the main menu bar. Here you can get information about your Unity version, manage licenses, access the manual and scripting reference, go to the community websites, like the forums or the Unity answers, check the release notes or report a bug. This concludes lesson 2 of our Unity introduction course. Please, don't forget to subscribe our channel and leave a like on the video. If you have any doubts or feedback, use the comment section below. We hope you enjoyed the video. Keep doing awesome games, and have a nice day.